a note on the way we were. Um, Sidney Pollack is the acclaimed director. Um, Robert Bradford has the role of Hubble Gardner, leading role, obviously. And um, Barbara Strayson is Katie Morowski. Um, I've met, so to say, with all three uh, people involved in this um, major project, by the way, included on the New York Times Best 1000 Movies Ever Made list, and very appreciated, very good film, indeed. I met with all three in a wonderful work on Hollywood. Adventures in the Screen Trade by William Goldman, winner of two Academy Awards. Uh, Sidney Pollock was not a very positive presence <laughs> there. Uh, the feeling I have, I regret if I'm wrong, was that he, uh, Pollock, in that encounter at least, didn't appreciate too much the work of the screenwriter and didn't value it so much the script as is. Uh, he was very keen on chopping through it, I, that's the thing. And he didn't get, he didn't, he didn't seem to listen to Goldman too well, if, if I have it right. Uh, Paul um, Redford, uh, is mentioned a few times. Uh, first of all, in terms of how a star is made and the fact that even his agent at the time seemed to say, well, someone like Redford, you, you throw a stone and you hit a ten on the Malibu beach, something like that, blonde, tall, nice. Uh, and, but it, there's a question of, of, of luck, maybe, but I'm getting too far with the introduction. Let me just say there were two very negative interactions in, in, during the filming of uh, and the making uh, of the project. Not, they weren't filmed yet, but uh, work, initial work uh, was done on All the President's Men. And then right after uh, the filming of, uh, the launching of uh, Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid, two negative interactions between uh, Redford and William Gold. Barbara Streisand, with her overbearing presence, she seems to have uh, affected a lot the end result in a film in which she plays opposite Gene Hackman. To return, uh, Barbara Streisand is Katie Morowski, a liberal and a woman with Marxist views, and with that, she, she's off my list. She's on the blacklist. As in Hollywood, uh, uh, those bad days and those limited people, this is one of my limitations. Having lived under the communist regime, I hate any of the people who uh, has uh, those views. And I think I'm entitled by what happened uh, for 25 years in my life and then uh, uh, and after because we're still suffering the consequences and then just think of the number of people that Stalin, Mao killed, you know, communist dictators and others. I'm just giving the big numbers and each of them has killed more than Hitler and whereas Nazism is uh, Anathema, and it should be, communism is accepted by so many with a stupid view that, well, the ideas are good, the application was wrong. And in so many places, I mean, in all places, with no exception. Come on. Uh, returning. Not a favorite of mine that Katie would have my Marxist views, but a strong woman, I have to admit that. Charming at times, overbearing and difficult to deal with. Uh, so I definitely prefer Pavel Gardner. Anyone who's not a communist is much better than a communist, no matter what. He's a privileged boy, was also a writer, but he's writing in, in, in his uh, assessment of this uh, relationship. You, you never let go. She's too too obsessed with her views. She's too she, she's right at times. Uh, in one scene in Hollywood, in one of uh, one one uh, rendition of. Uh, of uh, 
uh, Hubble's work, uh, they intend to have dances. What do you mean dances? There are no dances in his work. So she can be right, but still, uh, my, my vote is for Hubble. And to end with, I've seen Pollock in a Sydney Pollock in um, uh, a documentary on American cinema, in fact, entitled American Cinema, uh, talking on the side of this film and saying that for a director, for me, it's much easier to show uh, what happens when the relationship it's not working. It's difficult when they love each other and everything's fine. Uh, something along these lines. The film is excellent. Uh, uh, that's that's a conclusion. Um, it's worth seeing.